Hello students, I am Kirti from Computer Science Department, GSIPU College, Mysore. Today we are going to study about chapter number 9 that was input and output operators. The weightage of this chapter is 4 marks that is 1 mark, 1 question and 3 mark, 1 question. So after understanding the structure of C++ and the data types, it's more important to know about the formatting of input and output operators. So in this chapter, we are going to study about the formatting of input and output operators. So what is a stream? What is a stream? A stream is an object where the program can insert or extract the characters to or from it. It's called as stream. A stream is an object where a program can insert or extract characters to or from it to or from it so now let's see what is an input operators what is an input operators So the standard input device is usually the keyboard. So this is called as input operator or it is also called as stream extraction operator. It is also called as stream extraction operator. So this operator must be followed by a variable where it is going to store the value of that variable. So here keyboard is the standard input device. Keyboard is the standard input device which is followed by the object. It is followed by an object C in followed by this extraction operator followed by a variable followed by a variable so input operators are also called as stream extraction so here cn stands for console input cn stands for console input for example int h c n h so in the first statement here we are declaring a variable called h of type int data type and second declaration is used to extract the age from the user using this stream extraction operator. So this is about input operators. Now let's see what is an output operator. Output operator. Output operator is also called as stream insertion operator stream insertion operator so the standard output device is always the monitor always the monitor it is followed by c out object which is followed by stream insertion operator followed by a variable followed by a 
variable. So here C out stands for console output. C out stands for console output. Whenever we want to print the string of characters, then we have to enclose it within a double quotes. For example, C out compilation. C of compilation. What is the difference between these two statements? See here in the first statement, C of within the double quotes prints the compilation string as it is. It prints as it is. It prints compilation. But in the second declaration, it prints the value of the variable compilation. Here it will print the value of the variable compilation. So this is the difference between these two statements. So what is an input operator? Input operator is nothing but to accept the data from the user using this stream extraction operator which is followed by the scene object. Scene object stands for console input. It is used to accept the data from the user from the standard input device and output operator is used to display the data on the standard output device. So here C out stands for console output. So this symbol is called as stream insertion operator. Stream insertion operator. Now let's see how to write a C++ program using input and output operator. A simple program to add two numbers. What is the first thing? First thing we have to include the required header files. That is ash include iostream.h. So this header file provides basic services to the C++ program which is a supporting file for C in and C out. And next header file is ash include conio.h which contains basic functions for clear screen and get ch void main in the main function i am going to declare the required variables int x y z so here we want two variables to add sum of two numbers and the third variable is used to store the value of those two variables clear screen function to clear the previously generated output on the display screen. So next using C out statement I am going to print enter the values of x and y. See here I want to print the statement as it is. Hence I have enclosed the statement within double quotes. Next using cm I am going to enter the values of x and y. x and y. So here we are performing addition operations. Z is equal to x plus y. C out the sum of two numbers s. So I want to print the value of z. That's why I am returning as it is. End L, which represents the end of the line. Get ch function. Get ch function is used until the user presses any keyboard. It holds this output screen. 
it holds the output screen until the user presses any key on the keyboard close this main function so this is a program to find the sum of two numbers so here we have declared three variables x y and z of type integer because we are taking the integer values here then using cout statement we are going to print as it is that is i enter the values of x and y that's why i have enclosed this within double quotes using cin this is the stream extraction operator we are extracting the values of x and y so here uh, where we are performing addition operation z is equal to x plus y so after performing the addition operation we are printing the sum of two numbers yes. so here we are printing the value of z so this is the input operator and this is the output operator this is the output operator hope you understand how to write a simple program to perform addition of two numbers now let's see the concept called cascading of input and output operators what is the meaning of cascading cascading is nothing but the multiple use of input and output operators in a single statement is called as cascading of input and output operators cascading of input and output operators it is nothing but the multiple use of input and output operators in a single statement is called as cascading see here in this example instead of writing c in x c in y instead of writing these two statements i have replaced it within a statement it within a single statement that is c in this is the output operator that is stream extraction operator x again stream extraction operator then y so here i have used multiple times of this output operators so that type of statements is called as cascading of input and output operators it is nothing but the multiple use of the multiple use of input and input and output operators in a single statement you know single statement is called as cascading of input and output operators so this avoids the number of lines in the program next is manipulators what are manipulators so manipulators are used along with the stream insertion operators to modify the output on the display screen some of them are endl and setw see here i have used endl here so here endl is a manipulator i have used along with the stream insertion operator to modify the output on the display screen so some of the manipulators are endl and setw endl is a escape sequence endl is same as escape sequence it represents the end of the line 
and ZW is used to set a field width between the characters on the display screen. To set the field width between the characters, we are using ZW. So to use ZW and endl in the program, we have to use the header file called iomanip.h. iomanip.h. iomanip.h is used to modify the output on the display screen. So this is about manipulators. So what are manipulators? Manipulators are used along with used along with stream insertion operators. Stream insertion operators to modify the output to modify the output on the display screen on the display screen so from this chapter you can expect questions like give the other name for scene function and give the other name for cout function what is cascading what are manipulators name any two manipulators and name the header file which is used for manipulators or you can expect questions like explain the input output operators with an example so these are the questions you can expect from this chapter so this completes this chapter this is a simple chapter the weightage of the chapter is four marks if you study this much, you can easily score 4 marks from this chapter. Thank you.